I decided to be a sommelier by luck because um, when I was in England, uh, I worked as a waiter, but because I was French, the people thought I knew a lot about wine, and so they asked me to serve wine, and I did the best I could, but I didn't know much, so I started to take courses, learning, and then I went back to France to do the um, sommelier exam, because I wanted to be, you know, to know more. And so I thought I'm going to be the best I can. When I started, um, I became basically a master sommelier because it's an English exam, originally. Um, I passed uh, some competition in England, best sommelier in the UK. And then I wanted to have an international competition, so I did, uh, there, were, there was a competition for the best international sommelier for French wine. I did it, I won it, I'm the best sommelier of Europe. And also in England, there is an exam called the Master Wine, it become international. No, again, I enjoyed it. And then my dream was to become best sommelier in the world, so I, I did it. To win the best sommelier of the world was um, for me something really unique and special because uh, it's like winning the World Cup, you know. Well, one prize I'm very proud, of course, is um, in England, the Queen's birthday on her list, I got a, an OB, so I became officer of the Order of the British Empire. It was actually at Windsor, uh, Windsor Castle. We went with my family and then your cold and the princess Han, who was that day, who gave me the, the award. So that was really special, again, a fantastic memory. The perfect sommelier uh, doesn't exist because we all have our personality. Uh, it's different. I think, uh, uh, for me, a sommelier needs to be very welcoming, very friendly, very, uh, you know, so that's the first thing. You need to relax the customer. So, but the guests, when they leave the restaurant, they had a good experience and they want to come back. Oh, there isn't a perfect wine. There is wine who um, excites you, give you emotion. In fact, sometimes if the wine is too perfect, probably it doesn't give you emotion. It becomes, you know, wine is like a piece of art, you know, or like a beautiful woman. It's, it's not perfect, but it's something unique. Amarone is quite a powerful wine, obviously, uh, a wine with uh, some wonderful aroma, strong, uh, probably less fruity but uh, uh, of a type of wine, but you know, the wine of the nose is very complex, you get this slightly truffle character, you get all sorts of aroma, and of course on the palate it's powerful, round, but it's not because it's powerful that it should be aggressive, it still needs to be well structured, and uh, sometimes, um, uh, you know, Amarone can be uh, wonderful with, uh, you know, especially in the winter with stew, with rich food, you know, uh, maybe wild boar, something with powerful. Because, uh, but, you know, if you want to drink a glass of Amarone by itself, why not? Mm -hmm.